Hey there, YTPC, Michelle Baruch coming at you from Wisconsin in the Smoking Lounge. It's 22 degrees, it's Friday afternoon, and I can see my son's just rolling around in his bed, but he seems happy as a clam, so hopefully I'll get to finish this video. So, double fisting it again today. Uh, this is going to be part two of my Lane versus Captain comparisons. Uh, I forgot to credit last time. Um, my brain just totally blanked on who it was that specifically suggested which Lane and which Captain blends were equivalent. And so I want to credit them now. It was Trailing the Woolly Mammoth. Um, thank you very much for the suggestion. People have loved the first video, uh, so I'm going to keep doing them. Uh, so last time I compared Captain Black Original with the RLP6 uh, and found that I, I think I actually like the Captain Black better between those two. Today we've got, let me face the labels towards you, Captain Black Royal versus the classic Lane 1Q. Uh, America's number one selling aromatic uh, part of the Scandinavian tobacco group. Both are owned by Lane Limited. Both use Herman Lane's Cavendish steaming process. And uh, I have the plate for you here. Today I think you might actually be able to see this with the light coming in. You can see that they do have visible similarities. Um, I know the light's kind of coming this way. This is a little bit darker. It's not an illusion from the lighting. Um, it is just slightly darker. The 1Q on this side, the Captain Black Royal on this side. You'll also notice that the Lane 1Q has kind of some bigger pieces to it. The Captain Black Royal is a much thinner ribbon uh, between the two. Actually, that was something I didn't do before. I uh, set everything up here. Let's, let's give the jars a smell. So the 1Q has a very lovely, sweet vanilla aroma. And according to tobaccoreviews.com, is both Cavendish, and they don't specify which one, Cavendish and Virginia. Now, looking at it, I see black pieces. So I'm going to say... There is Black Cavendish and probably Golden Cavendish too, and Virginia. The Captain Black Royal, you can see on the label, is just Black and Golden Cavendish. Um, so there are going to be some differences right off the bat there. To look at them, I don't know if I discern much in the way of um, visual difference other than the Captain Black Royal has more pronounced golden pieces in it and uh, the lightest colors I see in the 1Q are kind of an amber. So 95% visually the same except for a little bit in the manufacturing difference uh, in the size of the cut. The 1Q is a less consistent tobacco cut throughout the blend whereas the Royal is consistent in all the types of tobacco are all pretty thin ribbon. Uh, so as before, Captain Black will always be in the green Graybo Viscount, and the Lane product, in this case 1Q, will always be in the bright orange or off-red Viscount uh, with the more traditional bowl. So, let's fire them up. I did do charring lights on both. I do have palate cleansing water. For those of you who are kindling, you will be lighting the sixth candles for Hanukkah tonight, so uh, I hope you have a festive one. I hope your arteries are not completely clogged with cooking oil and sour cream and goodness. Uh, anyway, here we go. Captain Black Royal.
since it is so cold out here, I'm actually just using a generic Bic lighter uh, hunting camo because it's Wisconsin. Now, I read that this is flavored with liquor and with vanilla. And the vanilla is very present, especially in Retro Hail. There's something a bit um, sour about the Captain Black Royal, too. Um, not quite bitter, but yeah, distinctively sour, almost like like it's got a little oriental in it. And again, previously this pipe, it's been cleaned, but this pipe did the Captain Black original, so if there's any ghosting to be had, it's from the other Captain Black product, but I don't think that's happening. Sweetness from the Cavendish. Definitely... Uh, Vanilla, though, not quite as sweet as Captain Black Original. Very tasty. Um, a bit mild. It's not super flavored, nor is it super strong in, in tobacco flavor. Um, very pleasant smoke. This would be a great newbie smoke. Uh, I know this tends to be from people who've made comments. This tends to be everybody's favorite Captain Black of my friends. And the Lane 1 Q. Also not exceptionally sweet, um, a little less vanilla, I think. I should say, though, the Lane 1Q of these, these Captain versus Lane comparisons, the 1Q I bought in a tin, and I bought it like six months ago. So this has actually been jarred up for about six months. Um, I've had bits off it here and there. I know I've given some taste to somebody, and I brought it once on an outing with a friend, and um, so it's it's seen a little air. Whereas the Royal, uh, I actually just got the pouch, it came in a pouch, uh, and I got it, mm, what, two weeks ago? Now with the one Q, I'm going to say it's got a vanilla flavor to it, but maybe a caramel also. I don't know if I really detect what I associate with Virginia's. Uh, they both have a creamy Cavendish mouthfeel. You can see they both have a good smoke output, though maybe that's hard to tell because it is 20 degrees in my garage. And uh, so that could also, yeah, I suppose you can't see my breath, but. Let's go back to the Royal. They're, these two are very, very close to each other. Like I say, the Royal did have that pronounced pleasant sourness as well, but. and maybe a slight honey taste. Okay, between these two, I have to say, just cheerily on a, does he like one better than the other? Forget the rest of what I've said. I like the Royal. But only slightly, 
only slightly more than I, I like the 1Q. Both are fantastic, approachable tobaccos that I think a new person would like. Um, although, you know, I was very mild about 1Q when I tried it. It was like the third or fourth tobacco I tried. I have come to like it a lot more over time. Uh, now that I, I have definitely explored Latakia pretty fully. Yeah, I'm going to say in, in the grand scheme of things, I still like the Captain Black original the best of these four in the comparisons. Uh, I like Captain Black Royal over 1Q, and I do like Captain Black original over the RLP6. Um, I just think in both cases there's just a little more there to appreciate. Okay, so um, I know I'm at 11 minutes, but I quickly also wanted... I, I got so much stuff in the mail yesterday, I don't want to do a separate video. So what I did is I sliced the boxes already. I haven't looked. I haven't even opened the flaps. I just sliced so I didn't have to do that on the video. Uh, so here's something that I ordered. It's very exciting. Uh, you guys are going to want to see it because I ordered some of this with the intention of including it in my giveaway when I'm ready to have it. Uh, so this... Huh. Ooh, come here. Ooh, they packed it good. This one came from... Um, gosh, who did I order this one from? This one came from... Oh, Uptowns in Nashville. This is the Uptowns package. So, <laughs> okay, good. They did label it. So I got some Nashville Special, four ounces of which. So two ounces of this are destined to go to my giveaway. And check this out. Eight ounces of the McClellan 2045, which is the Oriental Cavendish Mix. Uh, look at that big black bag of black amazing goodness. Now, this is the first time I've ever ordered more than four ounces of anything in my life. Um, so, a couple of this ounce, ounces of this are also going to go to my giveaway soon, God willing, when I have it. Um, so, this... Oh, here's the other one that's tobacco. This one came from the Briery in Homewood, Alabama. And I did cut the plastic, but I did not actually open the flap. Okay. Oh, for a second I thought I got a bonus thing. So this one is very, very special. So a long time ago, well, Andrew Cirigliano, also the, known as the Bluefin Piper here, one of my earliest and best friends here on the YP, YTPC, and one of the people I am the most fondest of in this whole community. Uh, he's just a fantastic guy. So he, he and I have traded tobaccos since the beginning of me being in the YTPC. Uh, and one of the first things he let me try, he gave me a little Penzance, but he also gave me a taste of Pembroke. In the Briery, I don't think they still have anything, but you can give them a call. Uh, is their phone number on here? No. <laughs> Look up the Briery in Alabama and give them a call and see if they have any of the Esoterica stuff available. They had a bunch of 8-ounce bags and a couple 2-ounce tins. Uh, they did not have any Penzance, uh, which is fine because this actually was the favorite of all of the Esoterica that I tried. I tried the Pembroke. I tried the Penzance, thanks to Andrew. Uh, I also tried the Margate, which is Pembroke, almost, with, but Pembroke has the cognac topping. So eight ounces of vacuum-packed Pembroke. Two ounces of this will also get included in that gaw when it happens. I've also already received the pipe I'm going to give away in that gaw. This pipe is for me. So this is an eBay find. I also have not opened this box, but well packed, dude. Uh, Peterson of Dublin. 
and let's open this together. So I have wanted uh, a spigot pipe for quite a while. And, uh, oh, feels like it's in two pieces, so the reveal's gonna have to, <laughs> the reveal's not as impressive with it in two pieces. So, here we go. Look onto it, Peterson Army Pipe. Woo, with the fishtail. Because I'm not really interested in trying the P-Lip. Actually, this is the impressive side because it's got the nomenclature. There you go. K&P. Irish made. K&P Peterson. This is a good, hefty bowl. Loving it. A little bird's eye on this side. I don't know how visible that is. It's great, great dark grains. Love the like tiger striping over here. It had only, according to the description, been smoked five times. And it is pristine in there. Check that out. Let's see if maybe we get a little light. Yeah. No. Good fit to the to the army mount. Considerably bigger pipe than the Peterson Iran that I bought in Nashville from Eddie Gray. Uh, oh, just it feels so good on the fingers too. This this is a pipe. Very very happy. I did not get a super, super steal on it, but I still got a pretty good bargain. Um, especially for something that is just almost brand new. Still technically a used pipe, but it is pristine. Very happy. So also coming in the mail, I, I found myself an Israeli spigot pipe. Uh, very happy about that. That will come probably the beginning of next week along with some other stuff, because my PAD and my TAD are both in full bloom. Um, doggone it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are well. Uh, this video is rounding out at about 17 and a half minutes at the moment, so I'm going to end it here. You guys have a spectacular Friday, great weekend, wherever you are. I hope it's warm and lovely. Uh, and I hope you can have some fun. If you're lighting the Hanukkah lights, hug some air and uh, have a great time. Anyway, stay safe, be well. Zagazunt.